Hi, my name is Preston. And I'm Corbin. Welcome to our final episode, episode 17 of Bearcat News. Since it's our last episode, we would like to wish a happy birthday to all the summer birthdays. Now over to Crosswalk Talk with Gavin and Maddie. I'm Gavin Shunky and I'm here with the Crosswalk Talk segment. And I'm here with... Kaden Schauber. Lily Carter. Lily Harris. If you were on death row, what would be your last meal? Um, French fries and a large Sprite with no ice from McDonald's. But not McDonald's French fries. Just fries? Well, French fries from Grill and Chill. Chicken Alfredo. Okay. <laughs> Definitely like something from Chipotle, just whatever I'm feeling that day. Okay, okay. Okay, um, if you could go to dinner with three people, who would it be? Um, Robert Downey Jr., my grandma, and my Uncle Travis. Sexy Red, <laughs> <laughs> Cardi B, and Flo Millie. Theo Vaughn, <laughs> uh, Brittany Broski. <laughs> And uh, probably like Emma Chamberlain. Okay. If you could date any superhero or supervillain, who would you choose? Tony Stark. So Iron Man? Yep. Okay. The Joker? <laughs> Batman. Okay. If you could switch legs with any animal, which animal would you choose? Um, a giraffe, because they're tall. But you're not. I know. Thank you. A cheetah, because they're fast. Okay. Did your ass have long legs? Oh. What? what? That's a silly question. <laughs> <laughs> what animal has long legs? Giraffes. I, I had it right. A giraffe? Yeah. Oh, well, I know they have long necks, but do they, they have, have long, long legs? legs? Or like an <laughs> elephant or something? Okay. <laughs> Somebody tall. That's okay, funny. thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now we're going to track with Brayden. My name is Brayden. I'm Anna McEwen. And this is your track segment. How did the track season go for you this year? Um, it didn't go as well as last year, but it was a lot more fun. And then what is your favorite memory you have with the team? Um, probably going to state last year. That was really fun to hang out with everybody longer. All right, that's good. The, this season you broke the triple jump record. How did this moment make you feel? Pretty good. It was only by like quarter of an inch, but we're not going to talk about that. It's still an accomplishment. <laughs> and um, what events did you do this year? Um, I did the 4x1, the 100, the 4x2, the 200, the 4x4, and the 400. It's a lot. Obviously not at the same time. But. Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brayden. Now we're going to pass it, it off to Caden with our 15 second challenge. It makes me why. I'm Caden. This is 15 seconds, and I'm here with Mrs. Swartz and Truber. All right. Name as many seniors as you can, first and last name, in 15 seconds. Caden Harris, Emma McEwen, Anna McEwen, Hunter Mowry, Caden Schaubert, Jace Boyer, Eva Brown, Lily Deluzak. I'm walking around rooms. Devin Davis, Braden Bulla. One more. One more. MJ. Madison Johnson? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and we're here with? Mr. Zecker. Name as many seniors, first and last name, as you can. Hunter Mowry, Annie, Anna McEwen, Emma McEwen, Caden Schaumber, Schaubert, uh, Jasmine Cullum, uh, Gracie Gregory, uh, Drake Potter, Caden Harris, um, Lily Deluzak, um, MJ Johnson, Madison Bennett, Madison DeMars. All right, that's been 15 seconds. Oh. Thanks, Caden. Now we head over to town with our outdoor game. Out at the station. 
Hello, my name is Tal, and this is the Punt, Pass, Kick Challenge. This is our outdoor game for the week. Who am I here with? White Calvin Johnson. <laughs> Caleb Van. Bo Wright. Preston Jansen. See what that one does here. No, it's not that good. Sure. A beautiful kick. Caleb, a natural born athlete, takes an early advantage, but can tell with a up. beautiful throw downfield. Oh, that's a good one. What did that take him to about the 45? Because of his better punt. That's a beautiful throw. Oh, too. good throw. What did that take him to? 30? 30. 15 30? Now it looks like Town had more. A 50, 50 to 55. And he. Biffs to kick. Barely makes it get past Caleb, but maybe about, boy, look like eight, nine yards. Yeah. That's tough. Because you can do a little kick here and he'll win it all. Cooster really just, he, I mean, he essentially just needs a chip shot. Yeah. It's like. And he. And he'll win it. He'll win it. Bad kick, but. Whenever y'all are ready. I'm pretty solid. Ooh. Solid kick from Preston. Good old kick from p -Dog. Gets him to about the 30. Let's keep walking. Let's Yeah, let's get down the line. He's hustling to get there now. Ooh. Yeah, Caleb's right -sided. about five, foot, five yards short of Preston. Uh, oh, unfortunate kick from Couture. Clutter. He's going to have to make up a lot of room with his throw. This might be a little rough. Caleb does probably have the best arm out of all of them. Cooster or Clator? Yeah. I got Caleb. Clutter. Uh, I think Cooster got it. Did Pete Ock's throw? Not a bad throw. That really maybe make right that may pretty good for Justin Fields. But um, what, what are we thinking? Put him at the Ops 45. Look at that throw by Cooster. Yeah. Really catching up all that lost ground that he got from yeah, Pete Ock's good kick. Yep. There's Caleb's there arm is. making up for it. Puts him right back in the This running. is going to be a real good competition here go between the Calebs. I don't know about the Preston. I will say this. Why when I was on the baseball field, when I was holding the P-Dog, his leg wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. This but might be the fatal flaw. This might be the nail in the coffin. Oh, and a it, horrible kick from Not a horrible kick, actually. But can Caleb and or Caleb beat it? That's the big question. Indeed, that is the very good question here. Um, pretty good field position. I think Cooster's going to have a very good chance here. Uh, I don't know. His kick did scare me. He le he shanks right. You're right. He, he does it right. again. He does shank right. It's one. That is... Caleb just has to kick it what? What are we looking at? 25 yards maybe? Five. Yeah, that sounds... 20, 25 yards. Caleb is claiming that they are tied. I don't know how much it would be. There's... It. Caleb Couture has won it all. The favorite for it. Well, Caleb, it looks like you have won another outdoor event. How do you feel? I know. It feels great. I feel like Tyler Tony from Dude Perfect. <laughs> um, how did, would you rate the competition out of 10? Uh, I feel like it's about a 9 or 10 out of 10 competition. Fun, gets you, gets you moving, and out of class, too. All right. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. Thanks, Talon. Now we have Bo with higher or lower. Okay, yep. You can start. There's so many faces. I hate this.
Thanks, Bo, not to Hunter with Riddles. Hi, I'm Hunter, and I'm here with the Riddle segment, and I'm here with... Cammie. Colt Halpin. Okay, Cammie, your riddle question is, there's only one word spelled wrong in the dictionary. What is it? Wrong. Good job! <laughs> Colt, your riddle question is, what two words added together hold the most letters? <laughs> you give up? Yeah. It's a post office. Why can't a pirate never finish the alphabet? Wait, hold on. I gotta count my ABCs. A, B, C, D. Something with C. Okay. Because it's in the C. I don't know. It gets lost in at C. C. Oh my god. What part of the road, like which part of the road, do ghosts most love to travel on? Down the middle? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the dead end. That's dumb. That was a dumb one. <laughs> Thanks, Hunter. Now to Caleb with baseball. The baseball team wrapped up their season on Tuesday with a loss in the regional championship. They finished the season with a 12 and 4, 14 record with a 6 and 5 conference record. The stat leaders for hitting were Caleb Couture with 25 hits, 6 home runs, 23 RBIs, and Aiden Frerichs with 17 hits, 20 RBIs. Pitching stats, Caleb Couture, 44.1 innings pitched, 57 strikeouts. Gavin Shunky, 41 innings, a 4-2 record, and 42 strikeouts. Congrats to the boys on a good season and improvement throughout the year. Thanks, Caleb. Now uh, Jasmine with softball. I'm Jasmine and I'm here with Cami for the softball segment. So how has the transition from middle school to high school softball been? It's a lot better. It's like more competitive and I love softball so it's a lot funner and better. Does it feel more like put together and more organized? Yeah. Than? Okay. And there's more competition too so like the pitchers are faster, the teams are better but yeah. it's really fun. So you like the aspect of having more competition versus just like playing other middle schoolers? Yeah, a yeah. lot. Um, and then what is your regular season record? I think we're like, um, hold on, 19 and 6. <laughs> we're 19 and 6. <laughs> okay, and then did you have any specific goals this season, like just for you? Um, probably just to have more strikeouts and walks for pitching wise and to just have a good batting average. And how is pitching for high school? Uh, it's more competitive, I guess. Like, you have to really, like, pitch strikes or else you're not going to win games. Yeah. And then what are you most excited for in the coming softball seasons? Um, probably just to, like, adapt with the new players and to just build a better team and bond. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Jasmine. Now we're going to our senior picnic with London. This last week, our seniors did a walk through the Milford Grade School, not only to practice for graduation, but to also wave goodbye to the grade schoolers. On Thursday afternoon, the seniors had one last get-together at the Milford Pavilion by the park. They ate lunch together one last time, but not only that, we had one last crosswalk talk for our graduating seniors. Here's that footage now. Okay, who am I here with? Caden Strauber. Gavin. Hunter. MJ. <laughs> Jasmine. Braden Ballin. Carson. Uh, Brandon Torbett. Caden. How do you feel that you're graduating tomorrow? Um, I'm very excited. Um, Good. 
Um, I don't know. I'm kind of happy about it because like it's on to bigger and better things. But at the same time, I'm sad because I'm leaving behind everyone at MHS. Um, it's kind of scary, but I'm happy too. It kind of hasn't hit me yet. It's like kind of like I'm just not fully realizing that I'm not going to be back here next year. But I definitely think I'll be upset a little tomorrow. All the feelings. Yep. Uh, I don't feel like it's really hit me yet, but it's sad to leave and. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like it'll hit until everyone's going back to school and I'm at home not doing school. <laughs> kind of happy, kind of sad. It's a fitty fitty. Uh, yeah, kind of. Kinda. Uh, pretty good. Glad to not see that kid anymore. It's Kaden. Pretty happy about it, I'm not gonna lie. Why is that? It's bored. Senioritis. Ready to go home and do nothing. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, no. Do you have any advice for upcoming uh, seniors? Um, it goes by really fast. That's, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Don't look too far ahead because it's not that exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Get involved. The more you're involved, the more you meet new people. Um, that's how I've created so many friendships throughout MHS. Um, just be involved and do whatever you can. Any other advice? Anything else you want to say? Become friends with the short ones. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Look. I signed a new The the DAC English class is really hard, but <laughs> if you do it. It's better for if you're going down that college path, I recommend it for that, but it's definitely difficult if you procrastinate on everything. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay, do you have anything else you want to say? Um, shout out Bearcat News Crew. It's been real this year. Love you all. And I hope you all do great things next year. Anything for upcoming seniors? Um, all of you are great, and I hope you do great things with your life. And um, just try hard and do good and get done. You're almost there. Thank you. Don't rush into the adult world. Try to take your time and have fun while you can being a teenager. Don't just try to work every day. and Enjoy your high school years while you have it because once they're gone, you're going to regret it. Just live the whatever years of amount of high school you have left. You only got four of you. Um, come to school. Get it done. You don't have that much days. so. Come to school. Um, no, not really. Just, just do the. Go to school. Do your best, I guess. Get scholarships if you're going to college. That's about Anything it. else that you want to say? Not at all. No, Last not time on Bearcat News. That's crazy. But I already signed out though, so. Now I have to, do I got to do it again? Mm -mm. Okay. Well. Good. Thank you. Thanks, London. Now over to our elected senior breakouts of the week, Cadence and Brandon. I'm AJ, and I'm here with your senior people of the week. <laughs> Brandon Torbett. Cadence Schaubert. All right, what will you miss most once you graduate? Uh, school. Um, I'll miss seeing people every day. I won't miss school. <laughs> What are your plans for after school? Go to the KCC Fast Path. Um, I think I'm just going to KCC, but I don't really know. What has been your all-time favorite class? Um, civics with Dwarf. Like, out of all four years? Yeah. Um, anatomy. Brandon, how many two liters do you think you have had this year? Hmm. How, how many days of school have we been in? I, I don't know. I'd say that, but like double it. Cadence, which Marvel character do you do you relate to best, and why? Um, I don't know which one I relate to, but my favorite one is Iron Man. Why is that? Um, because that was the first one I ever watched, so. What is your greatest sports accomplishment? Um. Uh, 
I say he's showing up for practice. Um, I don't know. I I ran a 14-minute mi- two-mile one time, but that was it. What a- advice do you have for next year's seniors? <laughs> um, come to school. It goes by really fast, so enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, EJ. And congrats to Cadence and Brandon for winning People of the Week. Welcome to Paradise. For this episode's community visit, we made a trip to Splite Arful Lane in Watsika, Illinois. We hope you enjoy. All right, so who are we here with today? My name is Kelly Peters, owner of Splite Arful Lane, and it means joy and wellness or joy and fitness. Very nice. Um, what inspired you to start this business? Um, I was managing and working out of the zone for the past eight years, so I kind of was motivated to do my own thing. When did you start? Um, We have been open now for three full weeks. It's going pretty good. Good. Good to hear. Uh, I've noticed that this building looks very lively and creative. Is there any reason behind that? Um, I'm a pretty happy person, so I wanted it to be fun and motivating in here, so we tried to make it match my personality. Well, you did a very good job. Thank you. Um, and what days do you take appointments? Um, I'm here Monday through Saturday and uh, typically I also teach kindergarten PE so during the school year I'm here 8 to 11 and then um, I come back after school and sometimes I'm here until 6.30, maybe 9. It depends on how many tanning clients are coming. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Now to close our episode, we'll do our grill and chill drawing with Mr. Zecker. I'm Preston Jensen here with Mr. Zecker. For the ground show drawing. Ooh, not that tall. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, I think this one. Do I hear it? Uh, is Let that see one? It. Let me see it real quick. Is that one? Yeah, I don't know if I like it though. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, Jaden! 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 Jaden Souders, Jaden. We would like to thank you all for tuning in to this final episode of Bearcat News. Tune in next year for your next episode of Bearcat News. Have a great summer, Bearcats. Thank you for watching. No, it's like living like 30. No one cares. And today's ASMR video. Ah! <laughs> I feel like you're not going to get this like, at all. I probably won't. I'm Gavin Shunky and I'm here with the crosswalk sock. I just want a single carrot. <laughs> I'm Braden. I'm here with your track segment. <laughs> Can I play with the gourd? <laughs> <laughs>